starts before the birth of her child and continues a lifetime. Erin, I've watched you grow from the shy and quiet girl you once were into the giving, caring, and loving woman you have become. As we all know, life is full of hills and valleys, but today you are on top of the mountain. God is here with you today and will be with you through all of the hills and valleys that lie ahead. You have so many causes that you hold close to your heart. I pray that you continue to unselfishly share your heart of gold with others. Dad and I were truly blessed the day you were born. We are very proud of you and will always be your number one fans. John, we're just so proud of you. You've turned into such a wonderful young man and such a man with the heart of God. And from the day you were born, we've prayed for you every day and for your future wife, which we now know is Erin, and we're so excited to have her as part of our family. We just know that God's the center of your marriage and God will guide you. And just know that we love you so much and we're here for you to help give you advice and directions and just know that we love you. swing dancing he was off in the corner and my friend Catherine who also knew John um, brought him over and he she said I've got this friend and you should dance with her and what was supposed to be one dance turned into a whole night of dancing and I gave him my number at the end of the night the first time he called we spent three hours on the phone talking and set up our first date for a week later and we went to Basbo's and had a nice night um, still didn't want a date, still didn't want a boyfriend, but I said, okay, we'll keep hanging out. <laughs> Three months later, keep hanging out with this kid. It's like, okay, I guess, I guess you can be my boyfriend now. <laughs> I remember thinking that she was really beautiful. Um, and when we were dancing, we talked a lot and we made a lot of jokes. Um, and... We had a lot of fun together, and I remember laughing a lot. And so the end of the night came around, um, and I remember thinking, I, I don't really want to just let this one go. And she was literally about to leave, and of course I'm not used to asking for a girl's number at all. Um, so I approached again and said something along the lines of, I don't mean to be so bold, but can I have your number? And of course, how could you say no to that? So I got her number, and the rest of that was history. When John first said he loved me, he had made a nice big steak dinner for us at his apartment, actually. Steak dinner, just had some candles lit, and he told me later that night that he loved me, and it wasn't that too too much longer after that that I was like, yep, I have I have the same feelings, and that was almost three years ago now. So. What I learned about my mom during the wedding planning process was that she cares so much about everything and I think the wedding is going to be a lot more special because of the little bits and pieces that she's felt were important to include and I like seeing her passion for something so important to me which is also important to her. <laughs> I think dad 
is going to be more emotional than mom <laughs> on the wedding day. Um, it's a different side of him that's come out the last year after going to Ireland and coming back. That was a big transition moment for me and I think it was a big transition for him as well because he realizes, oh, she likes to travel, she likes to move places. <laughs> and so when he realized, oh, she's moving to North Carolina, that was a big step. So I think he's excited, but I think he's nervous. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Um, I have a lot to thank you for. Um, I think some of the major things are your support and your love. Um, I think whenever I had an idea, you always supported me. Um, whether it was through encouraging me to push on or um, to give advice on how to change an idea so that it's more sellable or usable. Um, I know for sure I probably wouldn't have gotten my Eagle Scout if it weren't for you, and that's something I'm always proud to see. knew at all points in time, I had someone that was there for me and cared about me. Hi, Dad. I want to thank you for all that you've done for me. Um, I feel like a lot of times I'm so much like you that it's impossible to say that I didn't get anything from you. Another thing that I definitely got from you um, was a great baseline of my religious values, um, a deep love for God, um, and an understanding of his love for us. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. John.